Within other sectors of the U.S. fixed income markets, we think investors need to be very selective. As you move down lower in overall credit quality, that's where we think selectivity is most important. In part, because valuations specifically within the U.S. high yield market, we don't believe are fully compensating investors for lingering credit risks, as well as even tighter liquidity conditions. Even if you look within the investment grade corporate bond markets, one needs to be selective as well. We are currently finding much better value within the bank and financial segment of the market relative to the non-financial or industrial segment of the corporate bond market, given that spread valuations are so tight in that part of the marketplace. Within securitized credit, we do think there are opportunities where liquidity spreads are more accurately discounting the tighter liquidity conditions that exist across fixed income markets broadly. We remain comfortable with the idea of lending to the U.S. consumer and believe ultimately that there are more attractive diversified return sources for those investors there. Our outlook for fixed income markets is going to depend on the outcome of U.S. growth, inflation data, and to a certain extent geopolitical dynamics. We currently anticipate that towards the end of this year and into early next year, we're likely going to see the impact of the Fed's tighter monetary policy take its toll on the U.S. economy, as well as possibly driving inflation lower. In response to that, we do anticipate that you'd likely see support for U.S. interest rates. So in general right now, we feel that the yield environment is one that at a minimum, investors might earn their income for the rest of this year, and it's possible that you may see some total return upside.